Good evening and welcome to the 2013 commencement ceremony of Clear Creek High School. My name is Carly Carsey and I am the president of the class of 2013. The Pledge of Allegiance will be given by our secretary, Madison Williams. The Pledge to the Texas Flag will be given by our treasurer, Hannah Cardinal. The National Anthem will be sung by the Clear Creek Choir and the Armed Services Recognition will be given by our historian, Jordan Cooley. The Invocation will be given by our Vice President, Casey Derbe. Please stand for the presentation of the colors. Clear Creek men, please remove your mortarboards. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars to the perilous fight. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air. Please remain standing until the color guard leaves the field. Thank you, and please be seated. <laughs> Our graduation ceremony is being conducted here in Veterans Memorial Stadium. And so, at this time, we would like to recognize all seniors in the class of 2013 who have joined the military or who will attend one of the military academies, as well as any of our guests in the audience who have served in the military. Please stand and wave so that we may acknowledge your patriotism and service to our country. We would also like to recognize one very special veteran who was voted by the Clear Creek High School faculty as a 2013 Teacher of the Year. Please congratulate the Clear Creek Junior ROTC Director, Lieutenant Colonel Wendell Harris.
Please join me for the invocation. We gather here today with grateful hearts on this joyous occasion. We are especially thankful for our families, friends, teachers, and administrators who have served as the guiding influence to help us reach our personal goals and our personal best. At Clear Creek High School, we have been given the opportunity to learn those things that will forever enrich our lives. Let us face the future with confidence and courage and with a willingness to reach out and embrace the unknown. Let us think in terms of all mankind and our service to the world. Let us be true to ourselves and faithful to our alma mater, remembering with great pride and affection that we are the class of 2013. At this time, I would like to introduce the members of the Clear Creek Independent School District Board of Trustees. Please stand and wave as I call your name. Board President, Ms. Ann Hammond. Vice President, Ms. Wynne Weber. Secretary, Ms. Paige Rander. Trustee, Mr. Ginn Falaker. Trustee, Dr. Laura DuPont. Trustee, Mr. Charles Pond. And Trustee, Ms. D. Scott. It is my pleasure to recognize our district leaders from the Clear Creek ISD Education Support Center. First is our beloved Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Greg Smith. The Deputy Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction, Dr. Stephen Ebell. The Assistant Superintendent for Elementary Education, Ms. Holly Hughes. And finally, I am proud to introduce the members of the Clear Creek High School administration who will be conducting tonight's ceremony. Our principal, he's a big man on campus, Mr. Scott Bocker. The associate principal, Mr. David Drake. The dean of instruction, Ms. Marty Humphreys. And the head counselor, Ms. Marshall Ponce. Tonight, I have the great privilege of introducing the members of our campus leadership team. The first administrator I'd like to recognize is an assistant principal who is retiring after 32 years of service at Clear Creek High School. Seniors, please give a big thank you to Miss Mary Latula. Our other assistant principals are Mr. Brian Harper, Mr. Rupert Hasso, and Mr. George McKinnis. Our counselors are Ms. Diane Briggs, Ms. Travita Godfrey, Ms. Laura Stepp, Ms. Elizabeth Updegraff, and Ms. Michelle Wilson. Good evening, and thank you for being here tonight. What a privilege it is to host the 57th annual commencement ceremony of Clear Creek High School. Seniors, this is the culminating event for your high school career. 
All of the work that you have put in over the last four years has led you to this moment. And it is a very special moment for you and your families. This past Monday night, I attended a memorial service for the mother of a good friend of mine who passed away suddenly last week. Her name was Sally, and she was a person who had a heart of gold and who valued God and family above all else. Throughout the memorial service, I was reminded about how fragile life is and how we should, each, we should cherish each day. I was also reminded of the importance of the legacy that each of us leave behind. As I listened to the eulogy given by Sally's two sons, I heard about the impact she had on so many lives, how she touched so many people through her service to others, and how she was cherished by her family. So my question for you tonight is what will your legacy be? What will shape you over the next 10 years, 20 years, or 50 years? What will those people who know you best say about you and your life? Will others say that he was the best running back we ever had? Or that he was the most outstanding tuba player from Clear Creek? Or that she was in the top 10% of her senior class? Possibly, but I think it will be much, much deeper than that. Fifty years from now, when you look back on your life, what will you see? Will you see a life of service to others? A life that is filled with happiness and laughter? Or will you see something completely different? Will you see that you had a positive impact on others? Or a negative one? No matter what you see, no matter what hand you've been dealt, no matter what your circumstances are, and no matter what challenges have faced you during your high school years, you have the power to shape your future. You have the ability to create your own legacy. The decisions you make each day and the way you carry yourself will continue to define who you are as a person. I encourage you to create your own legacy and be intentional with this process. Don't just let your legacy happen. Create what you want it to be. There are many examples of a long-lasting legacy. See if you recognize any of these names. Quinn Patterson, Corbin Cherry, Zach Bartell, Julie Davis, Darwin Dixon, Brandy Lambert, Jeff Carroll, Lindsey Elkure, Jason Wisniewski, Matt Coffey, John Llewellyn, Patrick Murray, Carroll, Christine Fanders, Lynn Lincoln Hoker, Lori Delisandre, Lynn Miller, Mary Ann Jenka, Mary Weber, Diane Briggs, and Paula Radishoni. These are all former graduates of Clear Creek High School as far back as 1962. And each one has come back and currently work and teach at Clear Creek High School, all 23 of them. And this is part of their legacy. And you are a part of their legacy. They've played an active role in affecting the lives of each of you and all the students that currently pass through the halls of Clear Creek High School. Parents and family members in the stands, I know you'll recognize some of these names. Bauer Schlag, Carlisle, Parr, Kruger, Weber, you see these names all throughout CCISD, but each one has played an integral part in shaping the legacy right here at Clear Creek High School. When you look throughout the community, you are also constantly reminded of families, businessmen and women, and politicians who are Clear Creek graduates. And each of them have shaped the legacy of Clear Creek High School and now have created their own legacy within the community. Then there is Mary LaTulip. Yes, Mary, we're going there. 
former teacher, current assistant principal, and soon to be retired from Clear Creek High School. Mrs. LaTulip bleeds the maroon and white of Clear Creek Wildcats and has certainly established her legacy as one who has a heart for every student, no matter their circumstances. And what about this group of seniors in this senior class? How about Casey Dervais? Casey is known as the class vice president, an honors graduate, and cavalier captain that recently gave one very timeless dance performance. But 50 years from now, I believe she will be remembered for how respectful she is to others and how she helped to create a real sister-like bond amongst the cavalier officers and the entire cavalier drill team this year. Then there's Marvis Nelson. Where are you, Marvis? and Marvis's fan club. Marvis showed us his athletic skills repeatedly on the field, but I will most remember him for the constant smile he had on his face each and every day, and that he always said hello and shook my hand. Also, Sarah Gerke, who's an award-winning artist, whose artwork will be displayed in Washington, D.C. this summer, but part of her legacy will be the genuine, genuine kindness that she has toward everyone she meets. Sarah hopes to share her passion with others as an elementary art teacher. Then there's Brandon Peters and Dusty Mays. Who were fun to watch making tackles on Friday night, but were even more impressive in how they always answer you with a yes sir and a no sir. And don't forget about our boys' water polo team who has secured their legacy at Clear Creek High School by winning the Texas State Championship this year. And then there's Jackie Hardy. Jackie proved that she had skills on the volleyball court and was voted most likely to be remembered this year. But I will remember her for how she was able to overcome all odds after not being able to hear at all for most of her life. Through her perseverance and dedication, she'll be graduating tonight. But what is even more amazing is that through the miracle of two cochlear implants over the last two years, tonight she will be able to hear her name called out as she receives her diploma and hears the cheers that follow it. Some of these examples may seem like small things, but they are not. All of this is part of the legacy here at Creek. Seniors, once again, what will your legacy be? What will be said about you long after you're gone? Nobody knows at this point. But know this, you have the power to create your own legacy. Don't let a day go by that you don't consciously think about what you want your legacy to be. One thing for sure, is that after tonight, part of your legacy will be that you are a graduate. But more importantly, you are a Clear Creek High School graduate, and tonight you will join a fraternity of tens of thousands of graduates from Clear Creek High School, and you will always and forever be remembered as a Clear Creek Wildcat. Seniors of 2013, there's no doubt that Clear Creek High School is a better place because of you. Parents, thank you for entrusting us with the education of your sons and daughters. And seniors, please know what a privilege it's been to be a part of your high school experience. And on behalf of the entire faculty and staff of Clear Creek High School, I wish you the best of luck now and in the future. Congratulations once again. At this time, I'm pleased to introduce our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Greg Smith. Well, congratulations, Clear Creek High School Wildcats, which was recently named one of the top high schools in the nation by Newsweek. So congratulations on a job well done 
in comparison to the rest of the nation. You know, when you have a, an outstanding principal like Scott Buckert and a lead counselor, counselor like uh, Marshall Ponce, you never have to worry about rebuilding Clear Creek High School. These two just reload and keep going and going and going. So congratulations to all. Eventually, this synergy and capacity grows and permeates the entire campus. Graduates, you have worked hard, played well, lived the high school life to its fullest, and the class of 2013 has demonstrated the utmost class in the classroom on this field, on the stage, and in the community. Indeed, our future is in great hands due to you. Many students are already capitalizing on the high-tech career and vocational skills acquired here at Clear Creek High School, despite the fact that some of these facilities were built in 1957, which will soon change. Four seniors are cashing in on their health science and technology classes and have already landed employment as pharmacy technicians. So if you're sick, next time you need a prescription filled, be on the lookout for Peyton Diaz, Natasha Morgan, Joshua Salazar, and Zachary Leo. Also committed to serving the greater good is one of our four-time superintendent scholars, Alex Bursich. Alex completed the independent research and mentorship class under the guidance of an emergency room physician at Memorial Hermann Hospital. Alex was also given direct patient access to those being treated for facial paralysis resulting from illnesses and injuries to the cranial nerves. These experiences have solidified Alex's desire to work in the medical profession. And we already have some top earners in the group here. Reagan D'Alessandri. She's the first person we know of in the 75 year history of the Galveston County Fair to win the Grand Champion Steer four years in a row. So if you're in the need of a loan, you might want to check out with Reagan because during her four years in high school, Reagan has earned more than $75,000. She's just earned a police escort out of here too tonight. Another student singing all the way back to the bank is the Clear Creek Choir President, Nick Leach. Nick is an all-state baritone who hit a high note when he won a full scholarship to the University of Houston. Nick will follow his passion and earn a degree in music education. And Nick, come on back, because we'd love to have you back here in Clear Creek ISD after you finish. Now we have some of the most meaningful and engaging learning experiences occur with some of the others, like Jonathan Myers, Laura Brightwell, Jose Gonzalez, and Daniel Williams, all who showcased their high-level architectural skills by designing a two-story, multifunctional, state-of-the-art facility encompassing 36,000 square feet. The team presented their innovative and impressive results to me and some of my staff, as well as the public, and with the community's overwhelming support on May 11th of the bond election, their work will become a reality for Clear Creek ISD in many, many years to come. You know, the spirit here at Creek, as I look out here in these beautiful maroon robes, reminds me of the spirit of the 12th man in Texas A&M University. It is actually too hard to describe unless you're in it. And you're in it. Clear Creek High School students are not just about improving your school community, but helping the global community. You know, I'm especially proud of the digital and interactive multimedia students that we have who use their 21st century skills to design electronic butterflies. Their beautiful creations were donated to the Houston Holocaust Museum, whose goal is to collect 1.5 million butterflies in remembrance of the children who lost their lives to that horrific tra tragedy. And one thing I know to be true about Clear Creek students is your fierce determination when faced with adversity. Alea Dominguez is a shining example of this resilient spirit. At the end of her freshman year, Alea suffered serious life-threatening injuries when she was hit by a drunk driver. She spent that entire summer in the hospital and upon discharge, had to rely on a neck brace and cane just to get around. 
Well, I'm proud to say that Alea will walk across this stage tonight, pain-free and on her own means. So students, go out. You have a lot to be proud of. Striking boldly with that Clear Creek High School swagger of yours. Let your light shine and utilize that wildcat ingenuity to make this world a better place. Congratulations, class of 2013. We have two special awards to present this evening. The Weber Awards date back to the opening of Clear Creek High School in 1956 and are named in honor of Clear Creek's founding principal, Mr. Alan Weber. These awards have been given each year at graduation to the one boy and one girl who the faculty believes best epitomizes the idea of the most outstanding students. Winners are selected based upon their leadership, academics, extracurricular involvement, and service to the school and the community. The Weber Award is the most prestigious award that a student can win at Clear Creek High School. It is reserved exclusively for seniors and is the only award that is allowed to be presented during the commencement ceremony. The recipients will have their names engraved on the Weber School plaque, which hangs in Clear Creek High School on permanent display. Each winner will receive a Gold Cup trophy and a college scholarship valued at $500. The Weber Award for the Most Outstanding Boy goes to Mr. Mitchell Becker. And the Weber Award for the Most Outstanding Girl goes to Claire Mitchell. Both of our Weber Award winners are campus leaders, multi-sport athletes, and superintendent scholars. For college, Claire will attend Texas State University to pursue a degree in elementary education. Mitchell was named to the academic all-state team by the Texas High School Coaches Association. He is graduating magna cum laude and has agreed to play Division I football for the University of Texas. And if there's anyone who knows how to hook them, it's Mitchell. Congratulations to our most outstanding boy and girl. At this time, I have the great privilege of introducing Clear Creek High School's two highest ranking graduates. Laura Holzenkamp has earned the title of salutatorian by distinguishing herself in both academics and extracurricular activities. Laura is a true scholar athlete, one who shines both in the classroom and on the court. But seniors, what some of you may not realize is that Laura did not begin her education here in Clear Creek. She was born in Germany, and when she was 10 years old, her family moved to America. She landed on the doorsteps of Ferguson Elementary as a fifth grader. They enrolled Laura in the ESL program, that's English as a Second Language, where she made straight A's. Three months later, they moved her to regular education, where she made straight A's. Three months after that, they moved her to the Gifted and Talented program. And you guessed it, she made straight A's. And from that point on, Laura never looked back. But now, in hindsight, 
we can see clearly that Laura has demonstrated her giftedness repeatedly throughout the years. She is a four-time superintendent scholar, a National Merit Scholar, and a U.S. Presidential Scholar candidate. Laura is the only student at Clear Creek High School to earn a perfect score on the ACT. Laura served as captain of the girls' varsity tennis team. She was a regional qualifier for girls' doubles this year and the district champion last year. She was awarded the Allen Holtzman Heart of a Champion Award. Laura is a member of the National Honor Society, the Rotary Interact Club, and Best Buddies. For college, Laura was awarded a $20,000 merit-based scholarship from the University of Texas, where she will pursue a degree in international relations. Laura is trilingual and has her sights set upon a career in foreign service and international diplomacy. So seniors, when you look at Laura and you see a six foot one, blonde haired, blue eyed, towering Texan, remember that she's more than just physically tall. She's a mental giant. And when you think about all of Laura's achievements, make sure you keep them in the right perspective. Don't ever forget about the 10-year-old immigrant girl who came to the United States and claimed the American dream as her own. So at this time, please welcome your salutatorian, Laura Holzenkamp. Good evening, everyone. Fellow classmates, family members, friends, teachers, administrators, thank you all for coming. Ever since I found out I'd have to write this speech, I told myself I would make it perfect. I wanted to be funny, yet inspirational witty, yet serious enough for the occasion. However, I soon realized that that was easier said than done. I would sit down in front of my computer, start to write, and after about half a page, just delete everything. Finally, I decided to put all those expectations to the side and simply take this time to reflect on our past few years and thank those who were instrumental in making this day happen for all of us. Looking back on freshman year, I am such a different person today than I was back then. I think many of you would agree we've all changed a lot, and I'm sure you'd also agree that is a great thing we did. I remember thinking high school was so intimidating and that there was so much homework to do. Now, some of my favorite memories stem from the school, and all those hours spent studying and staring at the computer screen were worth it. We all survived together. From the excitement and anxiety of freshman year to the in-between stage of sophomore year to the beginning of college stress and work overload of junior year, to the complete exhaustion of finishing college applications first semester senior year, to finally the senioritis and slowly creeping in sadness of our last semester of high school. It would not be right to write this speech without including an immensely, great, immensely grateful thank you to all the teachers and administrators that have helped us throughout the years. It still amazes me how our counselors seem to know everyone, and no matter who walks in the door, you seem to have a personal connection with each and every one. Teachers, we thank you for all the time you devote every day to furthering our education. We've all met those teachers that will forever stay in our memory, whether for the incredible pain your assignments inflicted on us, or for the joy and cherished memories you've given, or maybe both. Today, we celebrate one of the most important days in our lives. Personally, I've had this day marked in my calendar for over a year, and the countdown has been going on just as long. Finally, we're actually here. Within the next few hours, we will all have graduated high school, and the place where we spent countless hours for the past four years will just be a memory. So while I'm still up here sharing my thoughts with you, I guess it is time to give some wise and inspiring advice that will make you just want to go out and conquer the world. Well, maybe that's a bit too far, but through the much appreciated help of Google and Pinterest, I did find some advice I found worth sharing. Douglas Adams once said, the knack of flying is learning how to throw yourself at the ground and miss. 
Admittedly, it is cliche to bring up the saying of it being time to leave the nest and fly out into the world. However, that is what we're all doing. In one way or another, we're all setting out on our own paths and moving on to bigger and better things. And according to Adams, in order to be successful, all you have to do is throw yourself out there and miss the ground. As we start the next chapter of our lives, we will all be faced with many new opportunities. I would like to remind everyone to reach high, dream big, and not be afraid to come up short every once in a while. Do not expect yourself to be great at everything, but know that you'll be great at something. When you're looking back on your life, your disappointments will not be the things you failed at, but the missed opportunities that you never even took. Like Mark Twain said, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. Finally, my advice is just, just to enjoy this moment. For the past few months, I could not go a day without hearing someone say, high school just needs to be over. I want to go to college already. Today, though, let us put away those thoughts about college for a minute and celebrate our time here at Clear Creek High School. Over the past four years, we've grown up together, laughed together, cried together, worked together, complained together, and celebrated together. Today, we graduate together. Congratulations, class of 2013. We did it. Our next speaker will be the valedictorian, Miss Stephanie Dean. And just like Laura, Stephanie is not originally from League City. Her parents and family are from Shanghai, but Stephanie was born in another place, an exotic foreign land that has its own unique history, culture, and customs, a special place with its own traditions, dialect, and cuisine. Seniors, maybe you've heard of this fascinating foreign land where Stephanie was born. It's commonly referred to as Louisiana. And for those of you who enjoy watching Duck Dynasty, you know what I'm talking about. So imagine how Stephanie and her family must have felt when they were notified that she was this year's valedictorian. Happy, happy, happy. But unlike some of those other teenage girls growing up in our neighboring state, Stephanie Ding is not destined to become a pioneer woman. She is a modern day, multilingual, 21st century learner who truly embodies the Clear Creek High School standards of leadership, scholarship, and citizenship. Stephanie is a four-time superintendent scholar, a national merit scholar, a college board AP scholar with distinction, and a Moody Foundation honor scholar. She serves as president of the National Science Honor Society, secretary of the National Honor Society, and secretary for HOSA. To enhance her academics, Stephanie began accumulating collegiate experience several years ago. She participated in the Rice University Summer Enrichment Program, the University of Texas Honors Colloquium, and the STEM Quest Camp hosted by the University of Texas Medical Branch, where Stephanie won first place for designing a robot that performed the most tasks on an obstacle course. These unique summer programs have given Stephanie direct, hands-on experience in the fields of health science, bioengineering, biotechnology, and nanotechnology. So seniors, what do you think a girl with all this talent is going to do in life? She's laying the foundation for a career in pediatrics. Your valedictorian wants to become a doctor who works with children. And to do so, Stephanie will attend the University of Texas as a member of the first cohort for a new accelerated medical program called SHAPE. Only 30 students have been admitted to the SHAPE program, and Stephanie will be part of an elite group of pre-med students 
who are afforded multiple research and clinical practice opportunities as undergraduates. The SHAPE program will allow Stephanie to earn a bachelor's degree in three years and a medical degree in four. So do the math, seniors. In seven years, your valedictorian will have the word doctor in front of her name. How awesome is that? So at this time, please welcome your valedictorian and future pediatrician, Miss Stephanie Ding. Before I begin my speech, I'd like to thank everybody who has taken the time to come. I would especially like to thank all the parents in the audience for their undying support over these past four years, the teachers who have given us the knowledge we need to proudly walk across the stage, the friends that have been there through all the rough times, and anybody else who has helped us reach where we are today. I won't lie. When I was first informed that I had officially become the valedictorian of the class of 2013, I immediately felt a sense of dread. Now, that isn't to say I wasn't happy. I was absolutely ecstatic. But I quickly realized that in accomplishing one of my academic dreams, I would be forced to overcome one of my greatest weaknesses, speech writing. Oh, the irony. As I began my task, I scoured the internet for resources to help me what I wanted to be an earth-shattering, spine-tingling, tear-inducing speech. What I found from hours of reading how-to articles and watching YouTube videos didn't really provide any comfort. In fact, it only created more anxiety. I realized that most graduation speeches share one thing in common, a one-liner that should suddenly open the door of possibilities and magically enlighten a room full of high school graduates. So, I asked myself, can you come up with a line that everyone will remember a line that will somehow define the past four years? I mean, what can I say that you haven't already heard before? The possibilities are endless. The future is ahead of you, so go grab it. It is only through failure that perfection can be achieved. Can I honestly say just a single line that encompasses all the experiences we've gathered throughout these four years? All the ups and downs? All the hardships and achievements? No, of course not. What I can do is provide you with a metaphor. Life is not a book. Yes, we have all heard the trite analogy that equates parts of our lives to chapters in a novel. It goes something like, this is the closing of one chapter, but the opening of another. However, while you can skim over chapters you don't like in a book, or in my case, skip to the ending and spoil it for yourself, you cannot do the same things with life. Nobody knows your future. Even you don't know. That's the beauty of it. It is that uncertainty that allows us to continue pushing ourselves, to find out what life is in store for us. It is that uncertainty that has allowed us to be here today and will continue to help us achieve our goals. So I advise you not to worry too much about anything too far ahead. Focus on these next few years. Study that extra hour. Practice a few more shots. Play that song just a couple more times. After all, your future will certainly be bright if you put effort into the present. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2013. Dr. Smith, will you please join me at the podium? Dr. Smith, I hereby certify that these students have successfully completed the course of study as prescribed by the state of Texas. In addition, they have satisfied all of the graduation requirements as stipulated by the Board of Trustees of the Clear Creek Independent School District. Thank you, Mr. Bockert. I accept your certification and hereby declare these students as graduates of the Clear Creek Independent School District with all the honors, rights, and privileges appertaining to this degree. Congratulations. <laughs> 